Absolutely, and that doesn't uh, only include the people that uh, you're probably seeing right now on your screens, uh, being, that being the FBI, state police, local police, uh, the U.S. attorney, also proud of what has happened. Uh, but there were thank yous also for the media and for the public at large, because uh, once those pictures were released of the two suspects, that is, of course, when everything changed. Uh, it didn't take all that long, after all, from the release of those two pictures of the two men who at the time were still known as suspect number one and suspect number two from that moment and to this denouement right now to one of the suspects being dead, the other suspect uh, having been taken into custody and transported uh, to a hospital uh, from what we are hearing. Uh, so, of course, there's a lot of pride, a lot of joy as well that this is over. This means a lot for not only this town, but for, for the city of Boston, because this was a city that was on lockdown after all uh, for almost 24 hours, meaning that people were told, recommended, uh, that they should not uh, leave their houses and should not really be walking the streets because of a, a dangerous man at large uh, who is now no longer at large. There's a lot of uh, relief here in this community and in the whole city right now. Well, that's a, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of people who uh, had to adapt to this, uh, after all. This has been uh, six days, uh, sorry, five days, five very difficult days since uh, something that, after all, hap started with that awful bombing at the uh, Boston Marathon. That, uh, of course, hurt Boston as a city. And then uh, this was really a city that uh, had to adapt to, to very exceptional circumstances with this manhunt, uh, especially this manhunt that started after those uh, photos were released uh, by the FBI. That's when it really everything slowly but surely came together. It's been a frenetic uh, 24 hours here uh, with, of course, that manhunt in this area here, the car chase, the uh, shootout, what sounds like two shootouts, one involving both suspects at the start, with suspect number one being able to escape uh, and uh, having been involved in this next shootout here uh, in a backyard, in a boat. Uh, we have not uh, yet received any uh, information on the exact details of how this actually happened, uh, of uh, how he was apprehended in the end uh, so close uh, to where the police had earlier said they had largely failed in uh, finding this suspect. After all, uh, he, was very, he was very close to being caught and that didn't work out. Now, though, the story is over. No we're, 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 no, we're not that far yet. Uh, the, uh, we saw the ambulance leave the scene uh, earlier today, uh, the only ambulance with flashing lights on it. Uh, we presume uh, he was in that uh, ambulance. We cannot 100% uh, confirm that, uh, but it did, it did appear to be the case. Uh, it does sound like he is injured. We haven't had any up updates from any hospital yet, uh, none on his condition as far as I know, uh, certainly not uh, before we came in during this press conference. There might be some details coming in the next few a uh, few minutes on that though uh, but uh, certainly uh, injuries uh, yes and he's been taken to a local hospital uh, but uh, we haven't got an update on his condition so far uh, but uh, uh, he will be uh, convicted at some moment one must presume uh, and he'll be read his his rights at some moment as well uh, from what we're hearing that has not yet happened Well, I think there'll be a, a, a sense of relief, uh, certainly. I'm not sure about uh, loud partying here because it's been such a short time uh, since the, the awful twin bombing at the marathon, after all. But there's big relief here. And uh, we'll have a look and uh, see if there's a, a party in downtown Boston.
live during a press conference. Still, still there, yeah.